Hey everyone, Sigma Ambassador Liam Duran here. Just returned from an incredible trip. My team and I spent two weeks in northern Norway on a shoot documenting backcountry skiing and adventure travel. We were in one of the most beautiful places I've ever shot, the Lofoten Archipelago. It's a place where giant snow-covered mountains rise straight out of the fjords. And beautiful fishing villages are found around every corner. I'll have a more comprehensive video, a uh, travel video coming out soon, but to start, I want to talk about camera gear I used and give you some small insights on how we got the shots that we did. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let's uh, start at the beginning. Hey everyone, how's it going? Liam Duran here and uh, exciting times right now. Tomorrow morning I leave for my first uh, big adventure since uh, COVID essentially. So we are heading off to Norway in the morning, or sorry, tomorrow afternoon. And uh, I thought I'd run you guys through all the gear that I'm taking because it's kind of interesting. There's all sorts of weird, fun stuff. Um, what are we doing there? We're going to be doing a lot of backcountry skiing, a lot of photography, landscape photography and action photography, and travel photography. Um, so yeah, lots of fun pieces of gear to check out and I'll show you how I pack it and why I pack it. Um, so here we go. Like I was saying, there's tons of other cool gear to go over, but uh, for this video we're just going to keep it to the photo stuff. Alright, camera gear. Here is a... Uh a big pile of it. So what are we bringing? Um, let's start with the lenses. I have the 1424 with me, uh, so a nice wide angle zoom. I have the 2470, which is a real workhorse lens for me. That's great for action and for landscape. Um, and actually going back to the 1424, uh, most people consider this a landscape lens. I actually use this more for sports uh, than I do for landscape. Kind of funny. Um, but anyhow. Moving on, I also will have the Sigma 100-400 with me. And I should note that all these Sigma lenses are the DGDN uh, series, meaning they go right onto the Sony cameras very easily. I don't need an adapter or anything like that. They just click right on and they work beautifully with the Sony system. Okay, for cameras, I, of course, I'm going to have my Sony A9 II with me. Uh, that's this guy here. This has turned into my, you know, kind of my everyday camera, honestly, for, for all my sports action and wildlife. Uh, I use this quite a bit. So while we're in Norway, we're going to be doing some landscape as well. We're going to add to that. So I have on loan with me, kind of specifically for this trip, uh, the Sony Alpha 1, which is pretty cool. So that is... You know, my, that's my entire camera setup right there. I might also bring the 7200 with me as well, the sport lens, um, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure if I can fit it in with all the weight and all that kind of stuff. And, oh yeah, and of course I have all the, uh, the Sigma i-series lenses, not all of them. I have a 20, a 35, and a 65 with me. So these will also be with me. And what I'm gonna use these for is just kind of the travel stuff. So. You know, we'll ski a lot in the morning uh, or the afternoons, but we're going to have time to be touring, traveling, looking around, seeing Norway. And when we're doing that, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use these three lenses. They're, they're really small, they're very light, they're super sharp, um, and it's just for, you know, great to have in my pack uh, when I'm not doing the, you know, the, all the ski action stuff, I'll just use these guys. So really excited to have these along with me as well. Somehow I managed to get all my gear packed and then spent the next two and a half days traveling. We got to our hotel in Narvik, unpacked our bags, and immediately went out for our first shoot. The skies were clear, which can be a rarity here, and we anticipated a sunset ski, but the arctic light we got this night would turn out to be the best we would see in the two weeks we were there. next few days around Narvik, we would skin, ski some powder, shoot some photos, 
and if we got lucky, find some beer stashed in the woods. But our next super productive day would come almost by accident as we made our way south down towards the Lofoten Ski Lodge. All right, well, we uh, left Narvik this morning. We had awesome skiing there. We had a really good time, and we're heading down to Lofoten now. And uh, it's taking a lot longer than planned because little epic scenes like this are just all over the place. So we've stopped about, what, 15 times or so already. Um, so for these kind of shots, what I'm doing is I'm switching things up a little bit. I'm shooting uh, the I-series lenses. This here is the 20 mil. I've also been shooting the 35 mil and the 65 mil. Uh, but these are really fun to shoot with in this, uh, you know, these kind of situations and getting these travelscapes. Um, so we're going to continue shooting and work our day way down the road and hopefully we get a little skiing in today as well. Uh, but it's going to be hard to get there fast. So here we go. We certainly had fun shooting along the way and got a few nice travel shots. But once we started our hike up, we soon realized we were in for a real treat. Okay, so we got a couple things going on here. We got a really nice turn shot for Sven. Um, we have this amazing backdrop behind us with all the mountains and the ocean. It's totally insane. And then uh, we got Adam looking at possibly dropping off this rock over here. So I'm kind of trying to set up everything and um, and make it happen. So what I'm using right now, I've got the uh, the 24-70 on. I'm shooting all pr almost at 24. And uh, what am I? What else have we got here? F11 1600 ISO 400 are my settings. So we're gonna um, uh, set this up and send Sven in and get a shot. Here we go. After this amazing sunset ski session, we made our way down the mountain and eventually to Lofoten Ski Lodge. And since we have plenty of ski shots in the bag, let's take a look at some of the travel shots I made with the iSeries lenses. All right, so uh, we had some good ski shots today, had a really good time out on the mountain, but now we are out cruising around some of these super picturesque little fishing villages in uh, Lofoten, Norway, and we're just picking up all sorts of fun little uh, travel shots, or travelscapes, I like to call them. Uh, right now I have the I-Series 65 millimeter on, and we're just kind of looking down the water here. We got four boats on the left, and this just gorgeous row of boats and, and really picturesque houses on the right, and of course, the big mountains in the background and all that comes together for a really nice shot. Uh, the lights faded a little bit right now so we're just gonna sit here for a few minutes and wait for that light to kick in and, uh, and fire off a few shots. So here we go. Okay, well I think that's it for now. If uh, you have any questions about any of the Sigma lenses I've used in this video, please feel free to reach out. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you out there.